Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be taking a look at Shepherd's Crook GC which is designed by JNOR99 over on Xbox. Um, now I don't have any little write up or anything like that for the course. Uh, I actually only just about a half an hour ago just remember just to uh, actually message him and uh, just ask what his, uh, his gamer tag is. Um, because I know it obviously just says TGC member here for me. Um, but as I have mentioned before in previous videos, I'm not the, the brightest light bulb at the best of times, so never thought to ask if there's uh, any any sort of little write up or anything like that for the course. Um, but he did tell me that he does like to make his courses challenging but realistic, and that as you can probably see here in the thumbnail as well, just to expect some tight, uh, tight landing zones, and that I will definitely need to pick pick the play pick my landing zones for where the pins are placed um we will be playing on pin set one obviously so as usual anyway we'll be keeping everything on default so we will have soft fairways firm greens and fast green speed we'll play from the uh black tees which are 7387 yards and we will keep it on pin set number one and i am actually just noticing that my audio is coming out through the uh through the speakers and not my headphones so just bear with me two seconds okay that should be sorted now i should i yeah i can i have audio in the headset now um hopefully commentary came through there or else i'll have to restart again um but yeah looking forward to getting uh getting into this one all right, wind is nice and calm because I was actually just talking to uh, talking to him there just before I started to record, just saying that I hope the wind's not too high because I have not warmed up on uh, on the master swing. Just been playing TGC tours over on pro swing, so we're going to kick things off with a par four, and it's four hundred and forty six yards up two feet. I say we have nice uh, nice calm winds, and so far looking very nice. Liking the lighting, nice and low, giving a nice silhouette of the trees, but it's not making it dark where some courses can come out very dark depending on the i really need to actually start looking at the time of day but um liking the plantum work and everything so far two very well placed fairway bunkers as well here so let's see right wind has died down let's take it while we can all right there we go solid opening tee shot first master swing in about two three days i think I'm going to do the usual as well. If we spot in, we'll take uh, take a quick look. And we've missed the fairway. Just about clinging onto the light rough, though. Leaves us 154 up 7. So about 156. That's my 8 iron. Um, ooh. I've come up a little shy. I've got to run away from it. Um, yeah, I think we should be all right, actually, just to, just to hit this straight up. Oh. Well, we're going to wait on that slope, but God knows where it's going to end up now. On the green, anyway. So what did I say? Did I say uh, fairways are firm or moderate? I know the fair are uh, greens. Sorry, I know the, the fairways are soft. Uh, but the green speed is one seventy, at twenty feet up two. I think we'll go out two lines for this. Oh, it's turning a little bit more than I thought it would. Slight little bit of a push at the bottom of the swing line, but nothing major. Decent first put on Master, say, in a couple of days, I'll open things up with a par. Right, so it looks like we have two par fives and two par threes on the front line. So, yeah, actually, it's a par 72, I think, isn't it? Um, so, let me see, 569, potentially reachable. Down 59 feet, actually, yeah, so could really be reachable depending on how we end up in the fairway definitely don't want to get stuck down there that'll cause trouble um for potentially going for it in two the bunkers look like they are kind of deep for, uh, as it did say challenging but not unrealistic so again we still have bugger all wind i'll take that didn't even do the the fake swing you know, I've only played on pro. I've got my thumb in a little bit of a rhythm. All right, 283 down 47. Uh, so we'll take about 16 off that. That'd be 277, 267, if my maths is correct. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just blast a three wood, and that should run on. There's a little gully there. 
what I want to call it, a little channel in the fair in the, in the fairway in the green. Certainly don't want to be to the right. I don't think we need to fear going long though. Ball slightly above the feet. Oh, it's a little slow. We're off to the right, but if we can kick forward rather than right into the bunker. I'll take that. Oh, we're on. That's going to be a very challenging pull. Got to be about 60, 64 feet. I was going to say about 60 feet, but um, hmm, I'll have a little look at this one. Not breaking too severe for the most part. I think we go at about one and a half and just get it close anyway. Oh, bad push and can't tell if I overhit it a bit. Kind of just snapped the stick forward there. So hopefully we can walk away with a birdie here. Um, little bit breaking both ways. A favour in the right edge, I think. That seems a little bit better. Get there. Playing TGC Tours as well. Um, I was at one eight sevens. I don't know if it's just me, the one eight sevens that they just keep on coming up short. I mean, they just don't feel like they're playing as one eight seven the greens. Now that ball there, it cruised into the hole, that put. Um and similar put I had in TGC Tours and no no, just came up short. But hole number three though is a is the first par three of the round and we have got one fifty three down three. So gonna play about one fifty two. Nine iron should be fine. We, especially with the wind, I don't even think I want to touch it. Maybe just a little bit of spin. Oh, it's a little slow. That spin could really affect it now. To come up short. Alright, let's try our first chip of the round. 10 yards. Um, I think we'll go with the 7. A little bit slow again. Might have tried to threaten the hole. Had it been perfect. But we'll tap it in. Get the par and move on. Stay at one under for now. A little string of par fours coming up. It's all number four. 381 yards up 34 feet. I would say the wind is trying to pick up one mile per hour. <laughs> uh, we might as well just class this so far at the moment as a, a windless round. Try and carry over again. Very nice deep bunker. A little bit of plant in it as well just to break it up. And oh, see a little, nice little bridge over here. Um, and a tee box down here. I'm not sure the routing of the course actually. So next hole could, let's see if we can see. That's number seven. Okay, so we'll be back here shortly. I'm going to assume if I can get the uh, the camera the right way. There we go. I'm going to assume that this green over here would be number six. So let's see if we can't carry over here. Well, it's up. I think I want to play more about here. Put a bit of draw on. Little slow. Grey. 101%. Jeez. Because... It's supposed to be red. Usually you'll see white if it's not going to be red. But that's the first time I've actually noticed a, a grey 101%. It's a new one. But uh, anyway, we're left at 118 yards. Two mile per hour wind. So gap weight should be just perfect without even touching this. Ball pretty level. There we go. There's perfect. It's tracking pretty good. Oh, that's a golf shot right there. Tucked it in nice and close. Tap in birdie. Move us to two under par. Again, I like that. I like that sort of silhouetting of the trees with the light in the background. Okay, hole number five. I was about to say four because I was looking at the par. But it's a uh, fifth hole, 326 yards, down six feet. Yeah, wind is certainly trying to pick up three mile per hour now. Um, oh, do I want to try and carry over here? I'd say we'll get it. Clubhouse looks very nice, but um, hopefully get a closer look at that. Uh, maybe up here, actually, if not later on in the round, as we hit 18. 
see if we can carry a little bit of D-loft. Tuck it under that uh, threatening two mile per hour wind. It's died off again now. We're coming up short. Shouldn't have touched it. But I should just leave us maybe a flop or a pitch in. Flop shot territory. Um, what is the lie percentage? So I'd say if we go 47 should get on and then hopefully run out a little bit. Not bad, yeah. That's I thought it was gonna come up a little bit shorter than that, but now it's a decent run out. Leaves us a good birdie opportunity. Ten feet. Turn. Yes, there we go. A bit of a push on that too, actually. But that will take us to three under par. I will apologize as well if I sound a little bit uh, a little bit stuffy or anything like that, just a bit of pollen in the air today, it just has me a bit boned up. Um, so hole number six, par four, 464 yards, down 23 feet. All right, we've got water off to the right. Um, we got a nice uh, deepish looking bunker to the left. Place your bets as to where I'm going to end up. One or the other, probably. Hopefully the ladder. Well, we hit a fast. Kick right, kick right, kick right. Yes, there we go. Members bounce back into the fairway. Okay. We have got 171 yards up 11 feet. Um, so 175. I'd say 166. If I had a memory, I'd be able to remember what the green frame. I think I'm pretty sure it said firm, firm greens. Um if not at least moderate anyway i think we'll just play the seven iron a little bit of spin should get a bit of run out on it that's slow yo it's a red slow Ooh, we're saying hello to one of these little pop bunkers here we'll pick the one on the right 29 gonna play about 34. all right that splash shot if that can get out clean Ooh, yeah, I don't want to go up to that. Uh, 34. Yeah, if that can get out clean, hopefully. Don't go too far. All right, not bad. Just at the bottom, bottom of the slope. So, just to save par. Oh, and I've blasted it. Putting is a finesse game. And we got our first drop shot of the round. Hopefully it's the only one as well. That will pull us back to two under par. Final par three of the front nine coming up. And then the final par five after it. Okay, 244. Down 16 feet. I'm going to play about 239. Bit of a lengthy one. Um, I'll probably have to just run this up. Play to five wood. Don't know. I don't think I fancy a heavy draw. Yeah, as I'd say, a heavy draw would be more favourable because if it was to come around and touch down in this sort of range, it would have time to slow down on the slope. We'll try that, or just try and hit it straight at it. Hope it has enough pace to get up there. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll be risky. We'll play. We'll play the big heavy draw. Oh, I got the perfect. Just barely. Slow down. Slow down. Alright, carried on a bit further than I anticipated too, but... It's not an overly bad break. I think we'll go just green line. 24 feet up one. I think I've just slightly overhit that and badly pushed it. Underhit it, actually. Felt like it counted a little bit slow rather than fast there, but I'll happily tap in for par. So I just rolled out a little bit more. I was expecting it to take a, a little bit more yardage off on that for such a heavy draw shot. 
but we'll stay at two under through seven as we as I say the final par five of the front nine or the second par five of the round that's 564 yards dead on um down five feet where do we want to go this is nice actually very nice little bridge running over we've got the little little port little harbor tucked away nice and neat in here you can head out in your little uh on your boat for a day of sailing uh, i can see the i see the way clever actually as well put like the uh, the channels there for the boats to go through make sure this is the one you want otherwise uh good goodbye bridge goodbye the top of your bow okay uh i think we're playing a draw shot again do want to take the driver but i think if we go to the right we could run out that'll do and that should yeah that's it just kill the speed of the uh, the forward momentum of the ball get us nice into, in the, into the fairway if i can talk again before we hit the slope i got a nice lighthouse and a fishing trawler down here and then we head back inland towards sort of slightly towards the clubhouse anyway um for number nine actually yeah, i'd say could get a, a little bit of a look at the 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 clubhouse again if i can talk it's friday it's the end of the week i am tired <laughs> right 304 yards are we carrying down here yeah we should carry over that bunker i hope this will be one of those instances now where the driver will refuse to carry slide fast it should do it won't <laughs> uh typical as i said the driver can be very hit and miss off the deck one minute it can carry like a, it's normal carry is uh what 286 and sometimes it can carry about 260 270 depending and other times it just it does that just no i'm not uh not cooperating with you today uh right well we got 63 up 15 so about 68 that's pitch yeah we can take a pitch out of the uh out of the bunker 68 so ooh, will that get there 79 to 87 percent you know it'll play just slightly over here and if it does come up short we can hopefully get it on this slope and maybe it'll just have enough to feed it back down that's the plan mm, came up even shorter should have gone with the other come off the green come off come off come off come off that'll do chip it up 14 yards little bit of a break to work with here oh I got the perfects not far off just a little too far out so par on a par five always feels like a drop shot but we did not give one back to the course anyway that's the main thing so let's see if we can pull that drop shot from hole six back finish off the front nine with a, uh, a birdie here on hole number nine which is 414 yards up 23 feet here's a little closer look at the, the little harbor and uh being irish i'm going to assume that's a, maybe a little pub you just sit relax after our during around and uh, take a break and enjoy the scenery and we should get a, a little bit of a look at the clubhouse yeah we're going to be playing right towards it for the approach shot right so nice big bunker off to the right put a little bit of draw again we have got that very strong two mile per hour wind i, re I was recording um the last video similar time actually so uh, yeah i guess it's not time specific as to what the wind will be like i think it, i can't remember what way it works but i meant the, the wind was up high in the last video similar time i was recording right one for let's have a little quick look actually at the uh, while we're here i'll say at the clubhouse nicely done nice little seating area here and car park around, around i was about to say around the rear of the clubhouse but uh, no it's around around the front a oh, double a double car park actually and oh swimming pool as well and 
I don't know. The alter 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 e swim pools are is one one of the uh, jacuzzi. Again, and then sun yourself over here. Very nice clubhouse. And again, just a little seating area. And well, I assume that's um well a gazebo, obviously. Or is a gazebo the right word? Again, it's Friday, end of the week. I'm tired. I can't think of things. And a little practice green over here. Warm up your pudding. Have we got? I'm not seeing unless I'm just blind. Don't see a driving range, but you can warm up your putts anyway. Very nicely done. Okay, right. Let's see if we can get our approach shot in and claw that drop shot back. 145. Gonna play about 150. We'll play the 9 iron. I will put spin on this. Not too much. Actually, we're on a big upslope. That's slow. Oh, I felt that one. I didn't even fully push the stick forward there. Try for a long chip. No, we'll just go splash I think. Spin it just in case it wants to, even though lob wedge splash doesn't generally run out too far. Not bad, not far off hole in it either. Okay, so two under through nine with a single bogey. Let's we have to try and claw that one back. But not doing too bad anyway. I say this is my first round on Master Swing now in a few days. Actually, the last time last time I played Master was actually recording the last video, so pretty much a week. Right, but to kick off the back nine, hole number ten is a par four, and it's four hundred and sixty-four yards down thirty feet. And a nice little bridge over this bunker here. I've kind of got you've got choices off the tee actually here. The wind is picking up, so I'm definitely gonna pick the uh, the left foot. Yeah, that's this what I was saying. Narrow landing areas does like to make them challenging, but fair. We got a nice sunken down bunker over here as well. I do like the planting actually as well in the uh, in the bunkers. Just kind of breaks it up a little bit rather than um, it just being bare sand. Just adds a little bit of um, little bit of character to them. Oh, I think we're going to be having a look at the one on the left. <laughs> no, we're not actually even going to get that far. Right, into the thick stuff. Off the tee for hole 10. Um, four iron is the best shot. It doesn't, that's 77%, so there's no point even looking at the woods. Let's just smash it out of there. There's a perfect. Where was that on the tee? Okay, so just playing for par. Bit of a bad tee shot. That was me just slamming it forward. Uh, 59. You're going to play with 58. But with the wind, that should actually be fine. Not when you hit a bloody red slow again. Well, it's not too bad. Could have been worse. It's makeable. Oh, we got it just about kicked in off the left. So we do save the par there. Don't give the course any more shots back. Okay, hole number 11, another par four, 477 yards down 19 feet. And I think, oh, will we run out of fairway here? Give me a look at the slope of that, actually. Oh, it looks like it comes back up. So that should kill the pace of it a little bit. But tailwind, definitely have to drop a club anyway. That will do. Very tidy swing there. But also, yes, the fairways are soft, so I probably didn't need to put the draw on just to kill a bit of distance. Plenty of space. I'll say with a tailwind, I'll probably be a little bit more cautious there. Um, it leaves us 173 up to, so we we'll keep it 173, but 177 with the wind. So six iron should be fine. Solid shots, turning pretty good. Tracking right for it. A little bit more spin, but it's slowing down reasonably quick. Leaves us 11 feet for the bird. Let's see, can we claw that drop shot back? Can indeed, in we go. Back to three under par. As we hit the first 
par three of the back nine for hole number 12. And it is measuring 148 yards down 22. It's gonna play about 141 with that wind. Oh, we got water. Oh, this is a tricky little pin to get at. Um, and a nice little bridge over onto the next tee, uh, tee box. Nice lonely tree out there as well on that little bit of land. Um, right, this is where this is where things go wrong. What did I say? 141. Now the wind is 5 mile per hour. It's about, what, 136-ish. I think we'll go pitch and wedge. Tiny bit of D-loft, but I'm going to put spin on this. Oh, the wind is trying to drop off. Barely kept that perfect. Oh, get in there. I don't mind that it's running out. I just wanted to keep it dry. <laughs> we can try a little chip. Run it up to the hole. Or not even. I have to run it up. Maybe just a, a little bounce and in it'll go. Hopefully. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh, I saw a kick left there. I thought it was going to miss on the left. That was a beautiful one. Let me see the replay. Because it did. It took it. I didn't take into account that kick to the left there. I was just... I saw this very slight left to right just before the hole. This is a perfect angle. I was going to save that one. Yeah, it just kind of kicked a little bit to the left. But it actually helped because that was center of the cup then. Um, so I, if it didn't take that kick, I possibly would have missed it on the right. That was a nice little chip to um, get us another bird. He takes us to four under par. And hole number 13 is a par four 364 yards up 36 feet nasty little bunker just waiting to catch us out there can we get over the trees i like oh nice little pond actually is it just a set little pond whoa the camera didn't like whatever i did there but uh no it's it's kind of inlet there from the uh the main water yeah, I don't know what happened. The, the camera kind of freaked itself out. Um, yeah, so I was looking to see, can we get over these trees? I don't think so. I could try and thread the needle between these two. No, there's no point there, is there? Because we're going to be in the rough. Um, we'll go for it, actually, I'd say, because with the forward pace of it, it should still have enough, unless it wants to hit the trunk of the tree no we're over we're over we actually did just about get over it i thought it was maybe just going to be a little bit too too high but luckily enough we got through as i say and it's left us now at 69 feet up six so about 71 that's bang on pitch and wedge we'll put a little bit of loft and good bit of spin on this four mile per hour tailwind A little bit slow, under hit it as well. But that sits it nice and quick. Get a little bit of backspin out of it. Give us what six or seven feet for the birdie. Seven feet up one. And in she goes. Right, that is five under par, I believe. Yes, it is. We've got back to back par fives coming up after the next hole which is a par four for the 14th and it's 297 yards down 41 feet so drivable it's drivable question is do we want to drive it <laughs> let me see let me see um so what's that going to be it's going to be you take 14 off 283 with that six now five to six mile per hour headwind we're gonna go for it put a wait do i want to do draw or fade because how far is that tree potential to smash it right into the tree um let me see have a look yeah we'll go fade actually that's that's not the driver that's the driver got a big bit of fade on it sort of cut it into the wind a bit Little slow, it's going to turn a lot more, I think. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's it going to kick? Oh. 
down into the heavy rough. I will take that all day. A little eight yard chip up to the hole. I think we'll play nine. Mm. Ten yard? Ten yard chip. Feels good. Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> Should have come with the sand wedge. Whoops. All right, chip in for a bird. Oh, yes, in we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It felt, looking at the shop, the light percentage there, I signed 70% up best for the 10-yard the chip at the pitching wedge. It felt right, but it wasn't right. It was That was a bad call, that one was. But um, I got my revenge. I chipped it in for the birdie. And that, uh, I don't even know. What does that take? I think it's six under par. Uh, yeah, six under par indeed. So first of these back-to-back -back par fives for hole 15, it's 635 yards up 43 feet. And kind of got options here as well. Splitting the fairway with the, the trees and the bushes. I think I want to go... If I could just get a proper look. It looks like a back pin there. I think, yeah, to be honest, with the wind actually anyway, it's going to be safer to play over here because we have got water down to the right. We've only just got to battle this fairway bunker over here though. If we go left. And then... I was going to say, if we were to hit a slow, just barely kept that perfect. Uh-oh. Well, I aimed over too far left. I actually, yeah, look at the wind. The wind direction changed. It was more of a crosswind when it first set up, so we're just going to have to smash the four iron now. Get it back. Oh, where's that going? That shot to the right straight away. Kick left. Yes, there we go. Back in the fairway. So just hoping for a best, still a lengthy approach in here for the third shot, 202 yards up 12. So playing about 206, back to 202-ish with the wind. Got a nice little bridge again, just leading over the bunker to bring us on to hole 16. Um, so I'll say 202-ish. I think we'll play one, ooh. yeah, 188. A little bit of loft, good bit of spin, just to slow it down for when it hits that slope. That'll do, again, tidy swing. Did I put too much on with that loft and spin? Yeah, just keep going, keep going to the right. Hopefully that's not too severe a break. Pretty much all in the green, but I am going to go two lines out. 47 feet up 3 inches. Apparently got the weight right on that. Turning just a little bit too much though. Maybe, yeah, about 2.5, maybe 3 lines out. A little bit shy on it actually. So we'll just tap in for a par, unfortunately. Again, we're par 5. That's 2 of the par 5s now we've parred. Just birdied one, so hopefully we can birdie this one. Final one, hole number 16. Get a 50-50 split on them. 587 yards down 41 feet six mile per hour wind in the face still reachable again we've got a nice tailwind you've got options off the tee split by uh split by the bunker we'll take obviously this one with a headwind again tidy swing i found my rhythm now watch me screw up the rest of the shots because usually when i say that when i think i found me rhythm that's it it uh it all just goes out the door right 285 down 21 so i'm gonna play about 277 we're taking driver i'm gonna see if we can chase it up there a little bit narrow oh we got water to the left and bunker to the right again place your bets where am i going hopefully down the middle oh it's a little slow thankfully i'll take bunker any day any day Oh, we're not even going to get the bunker. <laughs> we're going to get the the second worst option over the water. We're going to get the, the heavy rough. Although the lie is actually not too bad. I would have preferred the bunker though. 24 yards. I don't want to pitch for that. Um, it's going to play about 25. Yeah, I think uh, gap wedge splash shot be the better option. 
little slow. Oh, go, 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 go. Yes. I will take that all day. That's an eagle. <laughs> I, was, I would have been happy with a birdie split of 50-50 for the par fives. Two par and two birdie. But I will happily take an eagle. Hole out from a splash shot in the heavy rough. Just cruised its way in. Beautiful shot. Um, what does that take us to, actually? I don't even know. Eight under par, two holes to play, final par three of the course for hole 17, and it's 219 yards up six feet, so about 221. Play in the region about 213, 214 with that wind. We're coming over water, we're coming over... Oh, oh, we've got a little bit of a bowl here. A little bit of a backstop, but if we do go too far, that's going to be a nasty... If it somehow, I doubt it would, but if it were to... Make it over that ridge. Nasty puck coming back if it held the green. Especially if it was over here as well. Um, so what did I say? 221. Two, oh, the wind is dropping while I'm waffling. Um, 221. 214. Uh, yeah, four iron ain't going to get there. So I'll tell you what. We'll be stupid. And again, we'll put big heavy draw on. That's fast. Uh oh! <laughs> I should have just, I should have just uh, taken a four iron or something, gone for the fairway. Um, yeah, this, this is the, this is the hole that says no, no. You hold out from the rough for an eagle. We're taking that shot back. Um, all right, don't, no wait, hold. God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, I mean, I could, I could have just done this, just played from the bunker, played for par. You know, that's what a smart play would do. But no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm stubborn, stubborn as a mule. So I'm gonna do this again. Oh crap! No, no, it's over. Oh, but now we're gonna have the scenario. If this holds the green, we have the scenario. What I was just talking about before taking the initial tee shot, and we're gonna have a nasty put. Please come off the green. Please come off the green. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be for bogey. Oh, there's potential triple bogey on the cards here now. 58 feet up four inches. Um, Definitely need to have a little look at this. All right, that'll be over half. Right, I'm going to go one and a half. I don't know if I've under or over hit that. Over, definitely. Uh oh, now we're off the green, yeah. All right, can we chip in and walk away with a double bogey? Go, go. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> the eagle followed up by a double bogey through stupidity. Alright, let's try and pull one of those two drop shots there back on hole 18. I never thought I'd say it, but that, that's a good double bogey save there. <laughs> right, so hole 18, par 4 to finish off the round. And it's 441 yards up 36 feet. Wind dying right down again. And again, I see we have got options off the tee. Dependent, I think... Going by the pin location, what I can see there. Um, playing down the right side will be the better option. Wow, really under hit that, 96%. Oh, God, here we go. Remember how there a couple of holes ago I said that I found my rhythm? Yeah. <laughs> now screwing it up. See, uh, I always do it. 161, I'm going to play about 163. Uh, I won't play 184. Oh, no, I don't. Look at that light percentage. I'd nearly want to go 194. Watch this fly the green now. Stay up. Stay up. No, bunker. All right. Well, we're not clawing back one of the two drop shots of that double bogey. So um, we're just having to hope that we don't drop any more. Uh, 15, gonna play about 17. That should be fine, actually. I hope. 
Famous last words. Get up. Stop. Oh, that's spun nicely, considering coming out of the bunker. And we'll three foot tap in for a par save. Very nice course. There is a good challenge to that. That 17th hole bit the arse of me. <laughs> course wasn't happy with me getting that hole out, Eagle. But uh, no, very, very nice course. Some nice detail. And I said, I loved, I like that really with the uh, with the bunkers, with a bit of plants in it, just to break it up, especially with some of them being so, uh, large bunkers. That is, it doesn't just look um, dull and uh, you can almost say repetitive as well, where if, if it was to be just bare sand, so it's, it breaks it up nice and some very nice plants and scenery all around the car. Very nice course there from, um, from JNR99. As I think I mentioned at the start of the video, I've got another one of his courses up for the next one. So um, we'll be definitely be checking that out. And then I have another course lined up after that one. Please forgive me, I cannot remember who it was that asked me to do a course. I have it in the comments of a post somewhere, but um, we'll be getting that one done. But right now, that is where we are going to leave this one. This has been Shepherd's Crook GC, designed by JNR99 over on Xbox. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like. If you haven't done so already or you're just new to the channel, do consider subscribing. If you do enjoy the content, I will talk to you all next in the next one. Until then, take care, have yourselves a good one, and bye for now.